that what you're wearing? It's my lucky suit. Well, it's, uh, it's just awful. You can't wear that on the air. It's not revealing enough. But I'm an anchor, and I anchor dresses. Dresses the way I tell them to. Look, I know this is just the evening news, but it's still show business. Gotta give them something to look at. I think the people just want the news. Trust me, I've been doing this for 20 years. When people see a beautiful woman like you in the news, they expect to see some skin. I'm not sure I'm following you. Why do you think I hired you? Hmm? I don't know, my talent, my educational background, my experience. Let me make this very simple. Either you go change your clothes, or I'll reconsider having you as an anchor on the show and I'll find some other beat reporter who wants this opportunity. Where are you going? To change. That's my girl. You are gonna be so great tonight. I can't believe it took them this long to promote you. The whole crew has been rooting for you to get girl. <laughs> Thanks, Sydney. I just hope I don't let you all down. <laughs> wow, now that is an outfit. Well done, wardrobe department. But this... What, what is it? No, oh, this, this hair, that's just, that's not gonna work. What's wrong with my hair? This is a television broadcast in Los Angeles, not Uganda. Excuse me? It just doesn't look like our demographic. It's too, Ethnic. Well, there's not enough time to change it now. We're on air in five minutes. Yeah. Just, just put this on. What? No. No, David, I don't want to wear it. No. Well, it's not really up for debate. You know, and while you're at it, give her some more eye makeup and foundation. What's going on here, Sydney? Come on! I have enough makeup on, trust me. And I like my hair the way it is. Okay. So you can either put this wig on, and do your makeup the way I just asked you, or I'll go down to sports and grab Mark, and he can be the anchor chair for tonight. Your choice. Excellent choice. You should not have to put up with that from him. You're right, but he's the boss, and I can't blow this opportunity. Besides, this just puts me one step closer to being an anchor for Channel 8 News. Hi. Good, Good luck, luck on, on your first, first day. day. Oh, thank you, guys. Hey, we'll be watching you from home. I love you, honey. Break <laughs> a leg. Love you, mama. I love you. Oh, ready? Our final story is about Lucinda Perez, a local doctor who just received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Medical Association. When I first started out in medicine, I was constantly being told that I wasn't gonna make it. Uh, they told me that I, I didn't look like a doctor, I didn't dress like a doctor, and that I didn't even speak like a doctor. I stayed true to myself, and now I'm being blessed and honored with such a prestigious award. <laughs> what an incredible story and person. Sadly, her story is something that I can relate to. We like to think that times have changed, that they've improved. But just today, I was told that my hair, my clothes, and even my makeup weren't right for broadcast news. And because I wanted this job so badly, I gave in to my boss's demands. That was a mistake. As Lucinda made clear, it is more important to stay true to my principles and who I really am than to change. Just because it makes some small-minded people uncomfortable. 
for Channel 13 News. I'm Amara Jones. Good night, Los Angeles. What was that? Huh? I'm sorry, David. I had to be myself. Well, I hope it felt good. Because you're fired. When I'm through making phone calls, there won't be another broadcast company in all of North America who will hire you. Do you understand? Now get out of my face. You did the right thing, baby. I'm so proud of you. I know, baby, I know you're right, but we needed that job. I know. I know, but we will find a way through this. You know, maybe, maybe I should just kept my mouth shut and just play by his rules. Mom, look, you're blowing up on TikTok. I am? Yeah, everyone's saying how cool you are. Look! Oh. You've gone viral! That's so cool! <laughs> wow, that is something, all right. <sighs> oh, uh, I'll get that. <sighs> May I help you? Amara? My name's Val, I'm the station director at Channel 8 News. I hope you don't mind me coming unannounced, but Sydney gave me your address. You know Sydney? Sure do, in fact, we just hired her to be our lead makeup artist at the station. She quit after she heard that you were fired. Apparently, a lot of the crew did as well. I didn't know. But that's not the reason why I'm here. I'm here because I saw your segment tonight. And I'd like to hire you as lead anchor for Channel 8 News. <laughs> really? <laughs> what you did took courage, and that's the kind of character we're looking for at the station. Now, not only will I double what you're making at Channel 13, but you can wear whatever you'd like on air. You'll get no micromanagement from me. <laughs> that sounds it's fantastic. I, I'm in. OK, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> All right, well, I'll send over some paperwork. Okay, thank you. Great, good night. All right, good night. Good night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. Hey, Amara, hey, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Why haven't you returned my calls? Well, that's because I don't work for you anymore, David. Well, no, that's what I'm here to fix. Look, I made a huge, huge mistake letting you go, but I'm here to unfire you. I, I was just really emotional that day, and I made a mistake. We'd love to have you back at the station. No, thank you. Whoa, 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 hey, Laura, don't be ungrateful. Let's not forget who gave you your start in this business, okay? That was me. Yeah, you did. You did help me get started in this business. And then you kept me as a beat reporter longer than anyone else. Not because I wasn't good enough to move up, but because you had a problem with my gender and my ethnicity. Whoa, whoa, that is not true. That is true, and we both know it. So thank you for apologizing, David. But I am quite happy here at my new job working at Channel 8. Hey, Amara, Amara, hey. Oh, and the next time I see you here, I'll be sure to call security. Have a nice life. Thanks for tuning in. That's our broadcast for this evening. But before I sign off, I'd like to take a special moment to thank everyone here at Channel 8 News for giving me this opportunity. And for those of you watching at home, remember, staying true to who you are will always be worth it. Good night, Los Angeles. Hey! Get your dirty hands off my wife. Relax, honey, this is just Adam. I told you about him. We used to date back in school. Hmm. Years before we met. No way. Can you imagine you dating a janitor? <laughs> oh, you're serious? Nice to meet you. Uh-huh. So, you're working here now? 
Started last week. <laughs> so I'm paying you to grope my wife. Bruce! Don't Bruce me. Your man's not here to be your hug buddy. He's here to do a job. You do realize that part of my job in our company My is cus company? Is customer relations. I was seeing our newest clients out when I ran into Adam. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be late for our dinner reservation. We should be going, okay? It's good catching up with you, Adam. Yeah, really nice. You missed a spot. <laughs> I can't believe you're used to date a janitor. Your standards must have been way lower before we met. Now, why do you always do that? Judge a person based on their occupation. Because 99.9% .9 of the time, it's an accurate gauge of a person's net worth. And that guy has loser stamped on his forehead. Actually, Adam's not a loser. He was a really great guy when we were dating. In fact, the only reason we split up is because he moved out of town. A blessing in disguise. If you'd wound up with that guy, you'd be married to a janitor instead of a very rich, very good looking CEO. Or maybe with my help, Adam would have went on to become a successful CEO and you would have wound up the janitor. Ever think of that? <laughs> that would never happen in a million years. In this world, there are winners and there are losers. And unlike your pal, Adam, I'm a winner. You seem to forget that when we first met, you were not a CEO. You were a window washer earning minimum wage. I was working on my MBA program. You didn't even apply to get your MBA until I pushed you. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have pushed me unless you wanted the kind of lifestyle that we have now. No, I did it because I believed in you and your dreams. Yeah, I believed in you and your dreams. The only person responsible for my success is me. So me being senior manager and being with you since day one, helping you build that company means nothing to you? Do you even hear yourself? You didn't help build my company. All you did was ride in my coattail. That is so not true. And I let you ride it because it kept you busy with work rather than out there spending my money on who knows what. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. I built all of this. Everything you have is because of me. I am so tired of you belittling me. After everything that I have done for you over the course of our relationship, it's rude and unfair. Don't blame me. You know what kind of man you were getting when you married me. Well, I guess I was hoping that you would change, but clearly you never will. Where do you think you're going? Away from you. I want a divorce. I cannot be with a man who treats me like I'm some sort of accessory to his life. <laughs> Give me a break. You're not leaving me. Oh, really? And why not? Because we signed a prenup. And if you leave, all of this lifestyle that I created for you will disappear. No more fancy house, no more fancy cars, no more fancy clothes. Do you think that I am with you for the money? I don't need or want your money. I was with you because I loved you once. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Nobody believes you, least of all me. Fine. Just run back to the janitor. See how that works out for you, sweetheart. Over the ensuing year, things did not go smoothly for the newly single Bruce. Try as he might, Bruce was unable to run his business as efficiently without his wife by his side. Not only was Nicole a loving and supporting partner, she was the best customer relations manager and a key part of their company's success. Less than 10 months after his wife left, Bruce had run his one successful company into the ground. Due to his ruined reputation in the industry, it was hard for Bruce to find a new job. 
In fact, the only jobs he could even get interviews for were janitorial positions. After months of searching, Bruce finally found a company that was willing to give him an interview. Nicole? What are you doing here? This is my new company. I started it last year. Your company? How? Turns out, after all those years of working at your company, I was able to build a really fantastic network of clients. Once they heard that I was on my own, they flocked to me. You stole my clients? No. They chose to leave you and follow me. I didn't even have to poach them. You look a mess, Bruce. What happened to you? I lost the company, my house, and pretty much everything in my life fell apart the moment you walked out the door. I'm sorry to hear that. Truly. No, I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. I took you for granted. I treated you poorly. Anyway, I've been thinking about you a lot recently and how maybe we should give our relationship another try. Bruce, that is not gonna happen. No, look, I know I messed up in the past, but that was then. I I'm a new man now. I need you beside me to rebuild my life again. I'm married. To whom? Are you interviewing the new janitor without me? Bruce. Um, it's good to see you again. After we split up, I reconnected with Adam. And even though it had been years, it felt like home. <laughs> so what, you called me in here just to humiliate me then? Not at all. I picked out your application blindly because you had previous cleaning experience. I didn't even notice the name. We're seriously trying to fill this position. We'll get someone else. Bruce, remember before we split up, I had mentioned that with my support, Adam might have become a successful CEO and you might have become a janitor. Guess I was right after all. Hey, take your order. Randall? Is that really you? Oh, holy cow, it is. <laughs> hey, good to see you, Lance. Sorry, I'm just in shock. What are you doing working at a fast food joint? Aren't you like 55 now? Talk about embarrassing. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's cool. We're old friends from college. In fact, back then, all the professors thought Randall was the star of our graduating class. Boy, were they wrong about that. <laughs> you know, Randall It's okay, been... Becky, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll have the uh, double cheeseburger meal with medium fry and a large soda. That'll be right up. Probably don't see many of these anymore, huh, Randall? Here you go. Oh, hold up. I said no pickles. No, you didn't when I was inputting the Are you calling me a liar? That's uh, some real good customer service. No, 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 I'm not saying that. What I was trying to say is- Let me be clear. I want a new burger without pickle, pronto. If I send it back, they're gonna take the new water out of my paycheck. And how is that my problem? Run along now, get me my new burger. Or do I have to call the manager out here to complain? Is everything okay out here? Actually, it's fine, Gary. I'm just giving this customer his burger, okay?
That was nuts. I was right there and that guy did not say anything about pickles. I know. He's always been a jerk. I know. Well, why do you give in to him? I've got your back if he says anything to Gary. That's appreciated, Becky, it is, but that's only gonna get us both in trouble. And that guy's not worth it. Clean up, please. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry it slipped. <laughs> Everyone in our class is gonna just love this photo. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make it my own page. <laughs> What a jerk. Are you okay? I'm fine, really. Fine. Randall, you back here? Yeah, boss, what's up? You're fired. That's what's up. What? Why? I just got a call from corporate. Apparently a customer who was here earlier today called to complain about your lack of professionalism. Gary, don't do this. Please, you know how much I need this job. Sorry. Corporate made the call. It's out of my hands. Hey. Are you okay? Not really. I just got fired. What? Because of that guy? That's ridiculous. I'll go talk to Gary and tell him that he was being a jerk to you. It won't matter. Maybe it will if I quit, unless they hire you back. I appreciate you watching my back, but you need this job just as much as I do. Your tuition is due next semester. Thanks for everything, but don't worry about me. I'll land on my feet. Today, my coworker got fired because of this guy. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. This jerk came into our work and started harassing and belittling my coworker, all because he works at a fast food restaurant in his mid 50s. I know that some of you might think it's funny that someone in their mid 50s works a mick job, but that's because you don't know his story. A couple of years ago, Randall found out that his wife was very sick. They were high school sweethearts and had never spent a day apart in 20 years. He couldn't bear the thought of losing his best friend and his companion. So he did everything he could to help her get well, including giving up his high stress and high paying job so that he could spend as much time with her as possible before she passed. Unfortunately, she passed, leaving him heartbroken and Bankrupt with a mountain of debt from all of her medical bills. That's why he's worked with me for the past two years. And I have never heard him complain a single day. He is the best employee. He is so kind and so generous. And now he's unemployed because some big shot thinks that it's funny to mock him for trying to make a living. He doesn't know I'm making this, but um, if you could help him find a job, I would really appreciate that. And so would he. I know you're really busy up there, sweetie, but if you could send me some kind of miracle, that would really help get me out of a jam. Where 
have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for days. Oh, uh, my uh, cell phone is disconnected. Uh, what's going on? I have great news. <laughs> okay. Uh, come on inside. So last week I made this TikTok about what happened to you. It went viral. <laughs> like viral, viral. Neat. Well, it's good to see you. No, I don't think you understand. Look. So someone heard your story and created a GoFundMe. And check this out. <laughs> Wait, that's a million dollars? And it's all for you. That's too much. I can't, I can't accept. Randall, this is for you. It's okay to accept it. Tell you what, I'll accept the money if I could put some of it towards your tuition. No, 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 no. I, I could not let you do that. Well, if you don't let me, then I'm not going to take the money. If it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait, one more thing. You know, your friend Lance, check this out. When our TikTok went viral, he got fired. Wow, that happened so quick. It's the power of social media. Well, I guess I should start a clip clop account, huh? <laughs> yeah, I will help you make an account. <laughs> Thanks for the miracle. The marketing plan I created will increase revenue 10 to 20%. Excuse me. I'm so sorry about that. We'll reconvene next week. You can't just leave a presentation like that. I'm so sorry, Lou. Oh, that nausea hit me out of nowhere. You said when you were pregnant, you assured me that it would not interfere with your work. It's not like I can control nausea. You left me with no other choice but to fire you. You're firing me for being pregnant? You can't do that. I'm firing you for failing to fulfill the duties of your position. I brought in that client, just like I brought in 19 out of our top 20 clients. I mean, without me, you wouldn't even have a company. I see being pregnant also makes one delusional. Everything you think you've done around here, I could have done just as easily. You know what, just pack your bags. I want you out of the office by lunch. Got it? Babe, you will not believe the kind of day I just had. Lou fired me. Jason, what, what's going on? Um, this is awkward, but uh, I was just hoping I'd be gone before you got home. Gone where? Look, I'm leaving. Okay, I can't take the idea of being a dad. It's, it's too much pressure on me. What? No, you cannot leave. Our baby needs her father. Well, it's better this way, okay? I'm not meant to be a dad. Look, 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 I know it's scary, okay? But Whatever is going on, we could work it out. How? And now you're unemployed. That puts even more pressure on me. I think it's better for everyone if I, if I just split. No, 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 no. Jason, please don't do this to me. No. No. I don't know what I'm gonna do, Mom. I lost my boyfriend. I lost my job. I mean, I have a little bit of money saved up, but that's gonna go quickly once the baby arrives. I know things look grim right now, but you're better off. Trust me. I don't know how I could possibly be better off. Uh, for one, you no longer have to work for that talentless hack you used to call a boss. Weren't you always telling me that he was always taking credit for your ideas? He did. So forget about him. And as for your boyfriend, 
Any man that runs out on his responsibilities for his family is no man to begin with. Consider it a bullet dodged. But I'm still stuck without a job and a baby on the way. What about opening up your own advertising agency? You were always talking about it. Sure, but creating a startup is expensive. And now is not the time to be adding expenses. Now is the perfect time. Remember what I used to tell you when you were a little girl? When we get knocked down, we get back up. And I know I didn't raise a quitter. I guess there is no good reason why I can't run the business from my apartment. At least a start, till I build up my roster enough to be able to move into a real office space. That's what I'm talking about. Make that boss of yours regret the day he got rid of you. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, I love you so much. Oh. Motivated by her mother, Tracy gets to work starting her own company. Yes, that one was sent over as an EPK electronic. Tracy's reputation for hard work and creativity allow her to build a loyal client base quickly. Correct. And with the support of her family, Tracy was able to juggle the demands of running her own business while being eight months pregnant. Within the first several months of being open, her company thrived and became the hottest name in advertising in the entire city. I think that this is a mistake. We don't need to add a new partner at this time. I have everything under control. <laughs> Considering the way you have run this company into the ground over the last year, I highly doubt that. I know that business has been slow. Slow? Snails are laughing at us. Oh. Tracy, what is she doing here? I fired you last year. That you did. And since that time, how has your company been doing? Tracy's company is hotter than ever. Combining her client list with ours will be a win-win for everyone in this room. A merger completely makes sense, being that I know your clients and your personnel, which means that I also know where we can trim some fat. This is ridiculous. I'm ready to sign when you are, as long as Lou is no longer affiliated with this company. Yeah, right, like that'll ever happen. Congratulations, Tracy. You have yourself a deal. Thank you. Jason, what are you doing here? You look, you look great, Tracy. I saw the write-up in the, uh, in the Times about you and your business. <laughs> Looks like you're doing really, really well. Thanks. Yeah, well, the reason I'm here is I, I realize that I really screwed up by walking out on you and the baby the way I did. Actually, I am glad that you did. What? Well, <laughs> It was just the wake-up call that I needed to get my life back on track. But, but I think you were right. I think that we owe it to our baby to give this another shot. What do you say, babe? Our baby? The one that you haven't even bothered to meet? I am very sorry about that. I will do anything to make it up to you both. Oh, Jason, it's a little too late for that. But you're the one that the baby needed a father. And I have... Hey, hon, put Emily to bed. Thank you. Is everything okay over here? Yeah, everything's fine. I'll be up right now. Okay. My baby already has a wonderful father. But um, thank you for stopping by, Jason. Bye-bye now. Hey, look, Tracy, it's... It... There you go. Uh, by the way, this was on the door. Another notice. I have got to close this deal so that I can pay the rent. Hmm. Oh, this is black. Isn't that how you wanted it? No. Can you put some cream in it, Shaniqua, please? You know what? Don't you have like an easier, nicer name that I can call you? 
kids in school used to call me Shannon. Perfect. But I prefer Shaniqua. It means the gift of God in my culture. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just telling you, that name is definitely not a gift of God. I hate to say this, but um, the client who is coming in today is really important. Can you do something with your hair? Oh, um, is there something wrong with it? I... Look, the, the braids are just not very professional, that's all. This is part of my black culture. Oh, God, can we not, all right? Just, can you just, just please, like, do something with it, like, take it? Hey, Jim. Hey. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> um, uh, this is my new assistant, Shannon. <clears throat> Hi, nice to meet you. Nice <laughs> to meet Actually, you. my name's... Uh, and, uh, Jim, come here. Sit down. Talk to me. Tell me what we can do for you today. Well, we have just come out with a whole new line of lip scrub. It's the hottest thing on the market right now, and we want you guys to run the ad campaign for it. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> uh, Shannon, start casting models right away, and we will come up with something for you in no time at all. Great. Then I will be back tomorrow with my boss. Oh. Right. <laughs> By the way, if she likes what she sees, this could be very big for you. Uh, that sounds incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and uh, the company is really focused on inclusivity. No worries. They don't call me Mr. Inclusive around here for nothing. <laughs> <sighs> um, you gonna put some cream in that coffee or what? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's take a look at these models. What's this? Who are they? These are the models that I chose, sir. Let me talk to you. What are you thinking? We're casting a beauty campaign, okay? Not a rap video. But you heard what Jim said. His boss really cares about inclusivity. This could be our chance to really shine. I mean Let me explain to you what people mean when they use the word inclusive. It means that they want a tanned skin girl so that they can feel progressive, okay? They don't want this. They don't want dark skin models because this is not beautiful. How could you say that? Black is beautiful. Okay, why am I wasting my time arguing with you? You either get me the models that I want, or you are fired. <laughs> Shani uh, uh, Shannon, whatever. This is what I'm talking about right here. Boom! Wait, are you sure this is the right decision? We don't have a single dark-skinned model. I mean, this campaign, it, it's not gonna... Okay, you know what? Affirmative action is not my job. My job is to create a beauty campaign that sells, period. And speaking of that, I'm pretty sure I told you to do something with your hair, so maybe you should go do something with your hair. I don't understand what's wrong with my hair. Are you trying to make me lose this account, huh? You cannot even follow basic instructions, can you? Don't start crying. Do you know what it makes me look like if you start crying in front of everybody? You know what? I've had it with you. I have truly had it with you up to here. Get out. You're fired. What? Fired? But for what reason? Because you cannot even follow basic instruction about your own look. Now get out of here. No, no, no. Don't look at her. Look at the camera. That's right. Come on. Smile. Barry? Oh. Hey. Jim, get over here. Good to see you, my friend. What do you think? Um, they're great. Yeah. Um, it's just, um, didn't you and I have a little conversation about being inclusive? There are no dark-skinned models here? Okay, look, 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 I get it. Inclusive, you say that, and it means you want a, a tan-skinned girl you know, so, to feel progressive, I get it. <laughs> but, I mean, seriously, you did not really want a dark-skinned girl here, did you? What's wrong with dark-skinned girls? Uh, Barry, this is my boss, Laquisha. Oh, hey, you're, um... Uh... Black. No! No, <laughs> no, 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 I was gonna say a woman. I mean, oh. no, I mean, I mean, yes, of course you're a woman, but I mean, like, uh, no, tall. Tall, tall yes. yes. <laughs> wow, you're crazy tall. So nice to meet you, and I love your name. <laughs> you didn't answer the question. Uh-huh. What's wrong with dark-skinned girls? Oh, oh, no, oh, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Uh, inclusive, right, you want it inclusive, yeah. Okay, so hold that thought. Let me get that for you right now. Don't go anywhere. Am 
on, get up, get up, hurry, hurry, hurry. Look, look, look what I got for you here. Look at this beautiful woman. What's your race, darling? I'm half Mexican, half white. Guys, she's half Mexican. You cannot get more inclusive than that. Ba bam <laughs> Well, all the girls are lovely. Yes! <laughs> but I'm sorry. I don't think you have the vision we're looking for. Have a good day. No, 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 wait, 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 come back. Uh, La, La Quinta. Yeah. La, Latifa. Get out of here, go back to work. Um, La, La, La Shane, La, hey, Kim. Jim, where are you going, Jim? Can you believe that guy? No, that was really something. Oh, hey, hey, Shannon, right? You okay? No, I just, I just lost my job. Shannon worked for Barry. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, honey. What happened? I was trying to cast some models for a beauty campaign, but my boss got mad at me because I chose dark skin models. And then he fired me because he didn't like my hair or my name. My name is Shaniqua, by the way. It means the, the gift of God. I know. How would you like to work with us? Really? Hey, great, great, great. Hey, hey you found my, uh, my little assistant, uh, Sh uh, Sh uh, Shaniqua. And she has the most beautiful dark skin models in there that you are gonna love. Oh, stuff it, Barry. I heard all about how you treated her, which is why I've decided to offer Shaniqua a job with us. Uh, no, you can't take my assistant. No, she's not gonna be an assistant. How would you like to be the face of our new beauty campaign? No way, me? The face of your campaign? <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. I'm, I may be too dark to be a model. Are you kidding me? Black is beautiful. How about we go to my office and talk about this? I would love to. Let's go. Okay, no, no, but wait, hold on a second. Wait a minute. You know what? I, I can, give me another chance. Hey, hey, maybe I can go. Give, hey, Jim. Jim, listen, I really need this job because I have to pay my rent. Hey, guys, um, uh, uh, Shannon, I mean, I mean, so, uh... so, basically, it's a dating app, but when two people match each other, they have to play games to unlock information about the other person. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I just, I didn't know we needed to bring our own code. Oh, uh, <laughs> we don't. I, um, I, I thought it would be nice to show it off to the developers here, get some new feedback. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think we're gonna be talking to the developers on our first day. Oh. I also don't think you need to wear a tie. What? Oh, come on, man. Don't, don't you wanna make a good impression? Make big moves here? Yeah, uh, the only moves we're gonna make is towards that coffee machine over there. For the employees. Oh, well. Regardless, I'm gonna do my best to stand out. I'm, I've got big dreams. You know, my goal is to be the next Kevin Systrom of the dating app world. Wow. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but that's really cool. <laughs> I'm trying to get my college credit so I can graduate. That's the CEO. We're launching in two weeks. It's gonna be our biggest app yet. Just you wait and see. That's what you said about the last three. At this point, the shareholders need to see some real results. Okay, well this time it's a sure thing. You know what, come into my office and I'll show you our first quarter projections. I didn't realize you hired some new people. Uh, I didn't realize either. I'm sorry, who are you guys again? It's an honor to meet you, gentlemen. Uh, I'm Joe. I just started here, and uh, this is David. Hello. Uh, what are you working on? Oh, uh... This is some new code. It combines game features with uh, the matchmaking process. It's very impressive. Uh... What program are you using? Python? It's actually a combination of Java and PHP, sir. That way I can process the game features faster while also allowing for less developer hours to make changes. Efficient and mindful of cost. I like the way he thinks. Uh, is he one of your new engineers? <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is your job title again? Well, I, um... I actually just started as an intern, oh, but I love it. <laughs> they all think they're the next Steve Jobs. <laughs> you never know. I keep an eye on this one. I can see him definitely going places. Oh yeah, I see him going places too. I see him going straight into the break room to make us some coffee. How do you take yours? Uh, two creams. Two creams for Albert. You heard them in now. Off you go, boys. Yes, sir. Oh, you know what, hold on you. Uh, <clears throat> do you mind 
meeting me in my office in just like a second. Yeah, of course. Thank you. <clears throat> I would appreciate it if you kept your little homework assignment to yourself. I don't want my shareholders thinking that you somehow represent my company. Okay, but, but he seemed to like it. I like was it. just being polite, okay? You're an intern. You're barely an adult. What could you possibly know about developing an app? But sir, I've been doing it. But, but, but nothing, you're an intern, okay? I want to see you sorting mail and making coffee, all right? Stay in your lane, right? Uh, and I will take two creams in my coffee as well. Thank you. Now, off you go, goodbye. Go okay, right away. Ah. Can I help you? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to intrude. I, I was just, um, I was admiring your work. Uh, you know Code Kid? Yeah. Yeah, I've been writing it since I was 10. I'm hoping I can be in here working with you guys one of these days. Wow, since you were 10. Guess it's true what they say. You are never too young to go after your dreams. I 100% agree with that. You must be Edward, head of engineering. I saw your picture in the break room. Uh, yeah, that's me. Thank you. Well, let me know if there's anything I can ever help you with. Oh, uh, wait. Do you want to take a look at something? Sometimes it helps to get a fresh set of eyes. Of course. What's up? I've been working on these few lines of code for a while, and I keep running into a logic error. I'm curious to see what you've got. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you mind if I uh, take, take a look? Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I see what's going on. You do? Mm-hmm. It looks like you don't just have a logic error in here. Have you taken a look at what's in this array? It should just be the meta details. I think there's an index error hiding in here. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. And that should do it. You want to take a look? What in the world is going on here? Oh, I was just helping Edward with the code, you know. He... I asked him to. You're my senior engineer. Why would you ask a child for help? And you, little man, are you trying to run my company into the ground? No, sir, not at all. I was... Give me that. You're not at home playing video games, okay? This is real life. You probably just broke something. Edward, will you please fix whatever he just messed up? Thank you. And you! From now on, leave the coding to the developers, okay? Next time I see you, you better be sorting mail or handing out coffee. And if you're not, I am going to fire you. Do we have an understanding? With all due respect. You know what? I don't want to hear it! Do we have an understanding? Edward. He didn't sabotage anything too bad, did he? No, as a matter of fact, he just caught something the entire team couldn't. He probably just saved us all a day of work, at least. Okay, well, how incompetent can you be? If you need an intern to do your work for you, maybe I should be paying you what I pay him, which is nothing. I just don't think there's any way we're gonna be able to get all those features done in time for version one. Okay, well then how are we any different from Tinder or any of the other hundreds of dating apps out on the market, okay? We, we need something unique, people, if we are going to be better than all of them. So you really think we're gonna be bigger than Tinder? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't hear that. Can you speak up? Can you, yeah. Did you have something you wanted to share with the group, Edward? Yeah. No, I didn't think so. <sighs> We need something that is going to make us stand out. I'm not sure if there's enough time to add any new features before launch. She's right. Can't we just push back the launch? Now that, people, that right there is a great idea. Push back the launch date, and then um, we can put a big sign out in front of the building that says, FAILURES! 
push back the launch. We've already done that twice, Edward, and the shareholders are breathing down my neck as it is. What if we added customizable interfaces, like you could make your profile pink or add... You mean kind of like MySpace in 2005, huh? <laughs> That's adorable. People! You all got fancy schmancy degrees at very expensive schools, and not one of you has come up with a decent idea. You better be raising that hand, asking me if I want sugar in my coffee. No, I have a suggestion. Okay, little man, how many times have I told you to stay in your lane? Give him a chance to speak, Calvin. What have you got to lose? Isn't that the kid that fixed his syntax error? I like to hear what he has to say. Me too. Okay, fine. I will give you 30 seconds, and then you go back to sorting mail. Go. Okay, well, it's basically a code that I already made. It processes game material on a dating app platform without slowing things down. If we implement it into the script, that would allow for some really cool add-ons. But, 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 but what is this, this code that this person is talking about? Has anybody seen this code? I have, <clears throat> um, but I really think this could work. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, if the other intern thinks it could actually work, then I'm sold. I mean, his idea would definitely be unique. I've never seen that done before. Yeah. I think it's pretty genius, like words with friends for dating. Exactly. And all this code is already written. Yep. All I need to do is migrate it over to the production server and run some tests on it. If it's already done, then there's a small chance we can actually make it by the deadline. But the question is, does this code actually work? I don't see why it wouldn't. I mean, I I haven't tested it with real live users, but theoretically it should. Okay, so the answer is it only works if nobody uses it. That's great. <laughs> There's only two days left. Unless you want to upload V1 without any additional features, I suggest we try this. Is two days even enough time? I'd need to pull some all-nighters, but so long as I have some caffeine in me, I should be fine. Maybe you can help. Yes, yes, I, I can make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best shot we have. What do you say? Okay, fine. I will give you a chance. And if it works, you will become part of my development team as of Monday. Really? And if it doesn't work, you get your stuff and you get out of here. And I call every single person I have ever met in Silicon Valley and make sure that you never work in tech again. How's that sound, little man? Yes, sir. I understand. I, I won't let you down. Yeah, don't. All right, well, what are y'all doing sitting here? Get back to work. Welcome to the development team, even if it is just for 48 hours. Shall I show you to your desk? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. What should I start working on first? You tell me. You're in charge. Joe walks off excited to join the development team while also hoping he made the right decision. He's given a desk and starts working right away, trying to add his gaming feature to the app launch. He works all day and all night, even long after everyone else has left. Well, mostly everyone that is. Joe pulls an impressive 48 hours straight. Regardless of how tired he gets, he keeps pushing through to try and make the deadline. And then comes the day of the launch. Hey, Joe, hey, wake up, man. What time is it? What time is it? It's three minutes to eight. Everyone's literally coming up right now. Did you finish it? I think so. Um, I just... Yeah, all done. I just need the go signal to take it all live. All right, I hope it works. Me too. Here. Thanks. Ah. Okay, people, we are taking this thing live in two minutes. Are you ready, kid? Yes, sir, I just finished, just in time. All right, everybody to your stations, please. Uh, you, get me a coffee. Everybody, listen, be on your A games today. Please, we cannot have any hiccups. All the shareholders 
We'll be watching. Everything's looking good so far, but there aren't any users yet. That'll be the real test. All right, well, the, uh, the email blast with the ads and the press release is gonna go live in about one minute. So this better work, kid. It, well, I'm pretty confident. Oh, have you load tested the servers? Yeah, I did. They're all set to AWS to auto scale, so we should be able to handle however much traffic we get. But we do need real live users to make sure. Okay, here we go. Edward, take us live in five, four, three, two, one. We're live. <laughs> We did it! I did it, 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 relax, don't celebrate just yet. Let's make sure that everything is running smoothly. Everything's looking good so far. We have 5,000 people downloading the app already. No, no way! Yeah, and the servers are holding up just fine. 10,000 downloads. 10,000? Are, are you serious? Like, and there are no errors coming in? Ah, the load's not even spiking. We just rolled another 10 servers. The scaling seems to be doing great. Yeah, we're looking solid. 25,000 downloads in process and counting. 25,000, 25,000 downloads, are you kidding me? Like, that's unbelievable. Our last app did not have 25,000 downloads in its first year, I can't. You, I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to the team. Uh-oh. What, uh -oh, what does the uh-oh mean? Why is she saying uh-oh? Shoot, uh, we've got a problem. What, what is the problem? Tell me what the problem is. Uh, Tell me now uh, what the problem is. Some of the servers seem to be faulty. We're lagging hard. What, what, what? The app just crashed. No, 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 no. Get us back up online, quick. Little little man, go do something. It's probably something to do with the AWS. I'll, I'll do what I can. Oh, and terrific. Albert is calling already. Nope, goodbye. Uh, let me just go to the server room so I can fix something. And oh, you know what? Forget it. Don't touch anything. This is probably your fault. Hey, don't get mad at Joe. There's a a number of reasons why this could have happened. You do not defend him. I knew I should not have trusted this kid. He probably has no idea what he is doing. And Albert is calling me again. Well, just give me a chance. No more chances for you. You know what? I've had it. Get out of here. You're fired. No, Calvin, don't do this. I just did it. Little man, you're not listening to me. There's the door. I said, get out of here. You are fired. Wait, just let Wait me. Wait for nothing. I don't want to hear it from you anymore. You're trying to run my business into the ground. Get out. Hi, Albert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't worry. Everything is fine. It's just a little technical difficulty. It's uh, nothing to be concerned about. We will be back up online in a minute. I know what you're thinking. If I had another hour, I could fix everything. No. No, I'm thinking that I'm, I'm a failure. I'm a loser. I suck. I really wanted this job to work out. Maybe I'm just not a developer. Why? Because you couldn't handle 25,000 concurrent users on your first ever launch? None of the people in there could handle a fraction of what you just did. Calvin's right. I'm just an intern. I should have stayed in my lane. No, you are a coder. One of the best I've ever seen, hands down. Yeah, a coder who is never gonna work in Silicon Valley again. You heard what Calvin said. Do you think that Calvin has that kind of power? His park is a lot worse than his bites. I'm honestly more worried about him finding work again if this app doesn't work out. He doesn't have the best track record. Well, that makes me feel even worse, considering my code is what crashed the entire app. Have you ever thought that maybe your code isn't meant for Calvin's app? It's meant for yours. What are you saying? I'm saying you're a smart kid and you are a risk taker. That's a good combination. You should be making your own apps. But I'm only 18 years old. Well, then it's a good thing you 100% agree. You are never too young to go after your dreams. You're right. Wow, I, I can't believe I almost forgot that. You don't need Calvin. You don't need this job. All you need is this and maybe some funding. Oh, yeah. Where am I supposed to find that? Who do you think helped Calvin find his funding? Let me take care of it. Really? Wait, you do that for me? I don't want it to seem like charity. I will want a percentage, but that can come later for now. Get your app working and give me a call when you have a prototype, all right? Yes. Thank you so much, Edward. 
I am never going to forget this. See, maybe it's a good thing that you got fired. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's exactly how I'm going to explain it to my parents. Oof. Good luck, kid. <laughs> Joe is once again excited to go after his dream. He spends all day and night coding again. Except this time, it's for his own app. He works harder than he's ever worked before. And after many all-nighters, he finally completes his first prototype. A few weeks later, Edward sets up a meeting with the well-known investor. It doesn't take long for the investor to be convinced to help fund the app. Joe couldn't be more excited. Over time, Joe opens his own office Edward becomes his CFO and David becomes his COO. Together, they all create one of the top dating apps in the world, with so many users buzzing about their innovative features. And then one day, Joe gets a visit from an unexpected person. Uh, who am I meeting again today? He says he used to work with you. Calvin? <laughs> hey, long time no see. What brings you here? Well, you know, it's funny. I was reading a magazine and for some reason you just uh, popped into my head. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that picture. I cringe every time I see oh, it. Come on, come on. It is amazing how well your app is doing. Congratulations. I am just so proud of you. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, I, I could say it's all thanks to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, if you hadn't fired me, I probably never would have started my own business. Oh, well, see, I am I am glad to have been part of your journey. Yeah, well, you didn't have to come all the way out here to tell me that. Uh, an email would have been just as good. Oh, no, 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 no. I am here with an offer. An offer? A job or? Uh, no, 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 here, sit down. <clears throat> I would like to buy your company. Oh, yeah? Yeah, an all-stock deal. I give you 10% of my company in exchange for 100% ownership of yours. You'd do that for me? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, a young, smart guy like you knows an opportunity when he sees it, right? I mean, you could go anywhere. Live on a beach in Costa Rica or something. Like, never work another day in your life. Do you mind me asking how much revenue your company has? Well, I... I none. Right now, because our, our, our app hasn't taken off yet, but when it does, it is going to be huge. I'm, I'm talking billions. You'll see. Mm -hmm. So you're asking me for 100% ownership of my company in exchange for 10% stock of a company that makes zero revenue? <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we're on track for 50 million this year. You are? Mm-hmm. With a 300% year-over-year growth rate. Isn't that right, Edward? Sorry, but we're not interested. Come on. At least think about it. No. Sorry, there's no way I'm going to change my mind. Okay, you know what, little man? You are going to live to regret it. Hey. Are you new here? Yes, sir. I'm an intern. It's an honor to meet you. If you'd like any coffee or need help with any of your mail, I'm your person. That'd be great, thanks. You know, Alex here was actually just telling me some good ideas that he had on uh, some new features that we could maybe add into the app. Oh, is that so? Yeah, I know it's probably hard to believe because I'm young. No, not at all. You know, uh, a wise person once told me, you're never too young to go after your dreams. I love that. If you ever have a moment, I'd love to show you some new code I was working on. You know what? I have a moment right now. You want to step into my office? That sounds great. So, coding, what's school you guys
Oh, excuse me? Who are you? Oh, hi, I'm Quig. Today's my first day. You want me to shake that hair? Stop. Don't be that way. Hi, Greg. It's nice to meet you. I'm Peter, and this is Mark. I always wanted to uh, have a job when the code. <laughs> That's a good one. I doubt you even passed, what, third grade? How would you learn how to write code? <laughs> so, Greg, is there something you need, or are you just here to waste our time? Because we don't get paid 30 bucks an hour to sit around talking to the help. No offense. Oh, right. Sorry. Can you hear me that just can? There you go. What? Mark! Whoopsie! Why would you do that? Well, don't pick it up. That's his job. Mark! Peter! Can I have a minute? Of course, sir. I've got some good news. Our Series A funding just came through, so corporate's really ramping up the hiring. You may notice some new faces around here. I sure have. That's Lisa. She's a new intern here. <clears throat> As I was saying, with all the new hires, we need to add more management. So that's why corporate has Corporate has added a new senior manager spot. And our new VP, you know, wants to promote someone from within. You boys should really think about applying. Senior manager? Hmm? <laughs> that sounds like a fancy title to give someone more responsibilities without any more benefits. Why would anyone ever want it? $40 an hour, plus a private office and your own secretary? Wow, what'd you say? 40? We're in. Mm. And by the way, did I say how much I love your tie, sir? Oh yes, thank you, Mark. But it is not me making the decisions. It's the new VP. She'll be in here later this afternoon, so she's the one you got to impress. Good luck. Wow, private office. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe you can visit me sometime after I get that promotion, huh? <laughs> hey! What do you think you're doing? Sorry. No, 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 these are not kids' toys. You could break something. <laughs> what? How did he? Two creams, no sugar. I'm sorry? You're the new intern here, right? Lisa, I'm Mark. It's nice to meet you. You as well. Are you a programmer? Yeah, but not for long. A new senior manager position just opened up and I'm pretty much a shoe in for it. Well, you're very confident. I'd say uh, realistic is a better word. You know, one of the cool perks about being senior manager is that you get your own secretary. Is that so? Yeah. And I know you're just an intern, but if you play your cards right, who knows? I might just put in a good word for you to be my secretary. Wow, you do that for me? <laughs> And you learned all of that just through YouTube. Yeah. Wow, that's so impressive. I'll take it. Aw, thank you, Greg. You're so sweet. I'll see you later. Bye. And don't worry. When I'm at the top, I won't forget about you. Uh-uh. <clears throat> 
So, are you not gonna offer to pick up my trash? Oh, sorry, I, I didn't notice. I'll take it. No, you were too interested in the pretty girl. No, it's not that. I just take it. Uh huh. Oops. You can pick it up. Mark. Come back here and pick that up! Mark! I'll get that. Sorry about him. Is he always like this? I'd be lying if I said no. Mark's a nice guy. Two people that can do something for him, but everyone else, not so much. Here you go. Thanks. Why are you always nice to me? Well, my dad taught me that a person's character is defined by how well they treat someone that can't do anything for them in return. So, you should be just as nice to the CEO as you would the janitor. Thanks, I like that. Peter, I've been looking for you. The uh, VP's here, if you still want to apply? Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, see ya. She should be here in just a sec. Great. Yeah, great. Can't wait to meet her. Mm. By the way, did you get a haircut? I must say it makes you look, what, 10 years younger? Thanks, Mark. But again, I'm not the one you got to impress. It's, ah, here she is. I'll get out of your way. Uh, hello, ma'am. I'm Mark, and as a very dedicated employee here, I Lisa? Hi, Mark. Please, have a seat. I'm confused. So, you're telling me that you're... The new the VP, not an intern. I thought that before I made the decision to promote someone, I would go undercover, see how they really are. Ah, oh. uh, that's brilliant. I, I really love that idea, actually. And by the way, that blouse that you have on is just so... It turned into us, but is it... Greg, what are you doing? Can't you see we're meeting with the new VP, Lisa? She's not an intern. Oh, Greg knows very well who I am. He does? Well, I should hope so. Because he's actually my brother, and he has told me all about how awful you've been to him. And also about how great you've been, Peter. So with that, I would like to offer you the position of senior manager. Uh, oh my gosh, really? No. Peter? Oh, come on. I'm way more qualified for the job than he is. Maybe so. But unlike you, Peter here has a skill that I highly value in my leadership team. Character. He is kind to people even when they can't do anything for him, including the janitor. So what do you say, Peter? <sighs> I'm so grateful you're even considering me. But... I'd only do it on one condition. Greg here takes my current job. He's an excellent programmer. He's been learning online and I think he's more than capable. Probably even more than me. I think that's a great idea. Welcome to the programming team, Greg. No oh, why? Thank you so much. Now, you just have to decide who you would like your secretary to be. If you don't have any ideas, I do have someone in mind. Oh, yeah? What are you looking at me for? And everyone's very impressed up in the board. I'm, I'm more than excited. No cream. Two sugars. Thanks, Mark. No problem. <clears throat> no problem, sir. Uh, 
I I'm still so impressed how fast you got that last job done. Oh, before we go through it all, would you like some coffee? Uh, yeah, I go get it. Uh, nonsense. That's what we have Mark for. Oh, Mark! Oh, Mark! You wouldn't mind getting Greg some coffee, would you? He can get it himself. Come on, he doesn't make 30 bucks an hour to make coffee. That's what we have help for. Now be a good sport and get him a cup. Oh, and when you come back, I'll have you take the trash out since we no longer have a janitor. <laughs> oh. The cupcakes aren't in the oven yet. They're supposed to be here in two hours to pick them up for the New Year's Eve event. What is taking you so long? Sorry, I just got off break. I was just finishing up something. I'll go put them in now. Finishing up what? Wait, 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 wait. This does not look work-related to me. Oh, it's not. It's- Jenny's New Year's resolutions. Let's see, lose five pounds, go on a cruise. Ah, start a baking business. <laughs> You're cute. You start a business. Wow. <laughs> I don't get what's so funny about that. You've taught me a lot and I feel ready. Oh, really? You really think you have what it takes to start a company? You're barely old enough to drive a car. A lot of people my age have their own business. Oh, no, I highly doubt that. You know, it took me 10 years to get this bakery up and running. And I was 27 when I started. Well, just because- Let me ask you something. Do you know how many bakeries there are in this town? Just yours? Exactly. And do you know how many have come and gone over the years? Lots. It's a lot harder than you'd think. And certainly a teenager can't do it. Now, I'd suggest you get back to work if you don't want to lose your job. You sure Wanda won't be mad about me using the oven? No way, I use it all the time. Hmm. I don't know what you're putting in those cupcakes, but they smell amazing. Wanda's gonna need to take some notes. Thanks. I'm experimenting some new recipes for my menu. Oh, well, if you need a taste tester, I'm available. And so is my stomach. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Maybe you should talk to Wanda about some pointers on how to start your business. You know she did start from scratch. Huh? Did you see what I did there? Uh-huh, very <laughs> funny. But I don't think Wanda would be down for that. Mm, you're probably right. I've been here, what, four years? And she still won't make me a manager. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what's up with that? Honestly, I don't know. It like seems like we're going in that direction. I mean, she is having me find some new recipes, which is kind of cool, but who knows? Well, maybe it'll come sooner than you think. I hope so. Where are the cupcakes? The customer's gonna be here any minute. Don't tell me they're still in the oven. Nope, they're right here, ready to go. Then why is the oven still on? Oh. Whose are these? <laughs> they're mine. I was experimenting with some new recipes for my new menu. Oh, you're using my equipment to test out your own recipes? I was told that you let people use the oven, so I thought I'd give it a try. My kitchen is not for your recreational use. I am sorry, I hope I'm not overstepping, but I use the oven all the time for my own stuff. Well, that's different. That's because... What's that smell? Oh, it's Red burning. Cupcakes. Oh my gosh, they're ruined. Who cares about your cupcakes? What about my oven? I I'm so sorry. They were fine just a minute ago. You know what? Just stop. Stop talking. Now I have to get this entire thing cleaned. And you want to start a bakery. What a joke. I just got distracted. Yeah, 
Well, an experienced baker would not take their eye off the oven. If anything is broken, it's coming out of your paycheck. Understood? Really sorry about your cupcakes. It's all right. Maybe Wand is right. Maybe I'm not ready to start my own business. What? Because you burnt some cupcakes? Come on, girl. Don't let Wanda scare you. Every baker burns things from time to time. It's part of the territory. Have you ever burned anything? <laughs> Why do you think I keep a fire extinguisher here? And I keep the fire department on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, you'll be all right. And Wanda, she'll forget about it. <laughs> so I take it you don't want a taste test? Girl, you clearly don't know me at all. Burnt cupcake is my absolute favorite. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Make a wish. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks guys. This is so nice. And the cake looks amazing. Are you really going to act like you didn't bake it? <laughs> Wait. You made this cake? Yeah. It looks super nice. <laughs> yeah, Lauren had me bake this cake, but I didn't know it was for me. Well, I love everything you make, and if it saves me a few hours, I'm all about it. I didn't know you were this talented, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I hope that it tastes as good as it looks. I just tried out a brand new recipe, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get it. Hi. Hi. Sorry I'm late. I had to stop at the bakery. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. Do you want a piece of cake? Sure. Why not? Um, I just have to use the restroom real quick. Yeah, it's um right this way. <laughs> I am so sorry I invited her before everything happened between you guys. It's fine. Don't worry about it. What happened? Wanda being Wanda, you know how she is. <sighs> so, how about that cake? Oh, yeah. <coughs> I made it. I oh, should have known. Oh. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what happened. I thought I did everything right. Yeah, well, obviously you did not. That cake is drier than the Sahara Desert. I was just experimenting with a new recipe. Oh, God, I not this again. Are you still considering opening a bakery? You just turned 19 and you can barely bake a basic cake right. <sighs> Yeah. <coughs> okay, I'll be there. <coughs> I have to get back to the office. Lauren, I need you to come in at 5 a.m. tomorrow to meet the truck. <coughs> no problem. I'll be there. <coughs> the cake wasn't that bad, Jenny. Looks beautiful, and that's the hardest part. It, yeah, and it was just a little dry. Just a touch of syrup glaze. Or soaking the cake in milk. Mm. You're right. I didn't know Wanda was gonna try it. I shouldn't have experimented that much. She'll probably never eat any of my creations again. Actually, that might not be the case. I have an idea. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't know about this, Lauren. Would you stop it? Wanda put me in charge of finding new recipes. You're actually doing me a favor? There's nothing to be afraid of, okay? Oh, your first customer. You got this. Welcome to Wanda's. Uh, what can I get for you? Um, I'd like a red velvet cupcake, please. Sure thing. That'll be four seventy-eight. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Excuse me, miss? Um, so we do this thing where we feature a new recipe each month, and I was wondering if you'd be willing to try one of my cupcakes and give some feedback. It's free. Oh, okay. I love the idea. I'll take one of these pink ones. This is delicious. What recipe is this? It's a new one that I just came up with. This is one of the best cupcakes I've ever had. You're really talented. Well, hi, how are you? Hi, Wanda, I am great. Even better now that I've had one of these new flavors. Oh. It's really sweet of you to let your employee showcase their work. She's an amazing baker. Oh, well, I wasn't aware that we were featuring Jenny's recipes. <laughs> I guess I missed that memo somehow. Oh yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I've got to get going. Hats off to you. This cupcake is to die for. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. You too, bye-bye. You have really crossed the line this time, Jenny. This is not one of your high school home ec classes where you get to test out your recipes. I am running a real business with real customers making real money. It wasn't her fault. You put me in charge to find new recipes. So I figured why not just use Jenny's? You heard the customer, she loved them. Jenny almost killed me with her recipes last night. We are not using them anymore. From now on, just stick to making things my way. You know, you've been extra mean since you saw my New Year's resolution. Mean? You think I'm being mean? I am trying to save you from the heartache and loss you'll have if you actually go through with this silly dream of yours. Oh, so now what? You're having a temper tantrum? How appropriate. This isn't me having a tantrum. This is me saying I quit. Quit? <laughs> That's great, go ahead and quit. I can't wait to see you come crawling back here in a couple of months begging me for your job back. It's gonna be fun. Jenny, Jen! What? Jen, wait. I'm so sorry about that. I had no idea she was gonna react that way. It's not your fault. I just can't do this anymore. I don't blame you. Wanda is just so old school, and she just can be such a nightmare sometimes. So, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna start my own bakery. I don't even know where I'm gonna find my first customer, but I'm gonna prove Wanda wrong. I love that idea. Just promise me one thing. What's that? Don't do it for her do it for you. That's the most important thing. Thanks, Lauren. Hey, I was just coming to see you. I was thinking about that cupcake that you made. If I'm being honest, it's the best thing I've ever had at Wanda's and I've been going there a long time. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. I was hoping to get more of those for my son's birthday party. I'm gonna need about four dozen or so. Unfortunately, I don't work at Wanda's anymore. I just quit. Oh no, I, I'm so sorry to hear that. There's plenty of other amazing things though. I'm sure you'll find something. Happy birthday to your son. Wait, 
Is there any way I could hire you on the side to make more of those? I was really hoping to get the ones you made. Really? Um, yeah, okay, I can do that. Uh, amazing. Let me give you my number. <laughs> Great. Can't wait to do business with you. Same. Thanks so much. Thank you. Look over here. What are you doing? I'm taking a pic for your new Instagram. I made your profile. You did? Uh, yeah, girl. You need social media marketing. Now smile. Come on, hurry. <laughs> Wait till you guys try these. You thought Wanda's were good. This is heavenly. Well, I can't imagine anything being better than Wanda's. Yeah, I've been going to her for years. Just trust me. Here. Oh my goodness. Okay, you were right. These are better than Wanda's. This is unbelievable. I could already feel the 10 pounds I'm gonna gain. <laughs> <laughs> Same but I don't care. I need two dozen right now. I'm hosting a baby shower and these would be perfect. Good idea. My Rory turns 10 tomorrow. I know it's short notice, but can you get me four dozen by the morning? I'll pay you extra for the last minute request. Um, I would need help. Yeah, I could make that work. <laughs> Um, just give me your phone and I'll put in my number and then send me your contact and your order details. Jenny, you're the best. Wanda always requires a 48 hour notice and she's not always the most pleasant to deal with. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Wanda better watch out because there's a new girl in town. <laughs> girl, you need business cards. <laughs> Hey, um, there's not much left for me to clean. Anything else you want me to work on? No. God, I can't remember the last time we didn't see a single customer in four hours. This place is like a ghost town. Business was booming a month ago. I don't get it. Yeah, I think I might know what's going on. Well, what? Um, <laughs> Jenny Sweets? She's been really blowing up. Well, I haven't heard of another bakery shop opening, so. Her business runs through Instagram and delivery apps. She doesn't have an actual store. It's the direction a lot of businesses are going. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know anything about that, but I'm sure it's not gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> right? <sighs> Hmm. <clears throat> Work. Oh, yeah. Where have you been? You're 20 minutes late. I'm sorry. I mean, why are you wearing that t-shirt? I'll just, I'll cover it up with this. Absolutely not. You are not gonna be promoting some other business while you're working here. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking, I was just helping my friend. I'm sorry. What you need to be doing is dedicating more time here and then maybe my business wouldn't be this slow. You think I'm not dedicated? I've been working more than 60 hours a week for years here and I'm not even the manager. You, manager? <laughs> Are you kidding? Come on. What do you mean? You've been telling me for the longest time that that was the direction this was going in. Oh, please. I just said that so you wouldn't quit. <sighs> wow. You know what? I don't need this. I do so much for you and you don't appreciate any of it. I'm going to work for Jenny. Jenny? 
You know, if you want to throw your career down the toilet, be my guest. It's going to be fun watching the two of you fail. Hmm. We'll just see about that. Take care, Wanda. While Wanda's business started going downhill, Jenny's business started to really take off. As word spreads about her amazing treats, Jenny starts making deliveries all around town. Each customer would refer her to even more people so her business quickly began to grow. Jenny started off baking in her kitchen with just a few people. But as time went on and her popularity exploded, she had to hire more and more to help keep up. Fortunately for her, she had a good manager in place to oversee everything. And then a few months later, Jenny and Lauren come to pay a visit to their old boss. Hey, Wanda. Oh, Alex, <laughs> look, I just need a couple more days for the rent, okay? You've been saying that for the past couple months. Ownership isn't happy. I know, but business has been slow, but I'm gonna think of something, so I just need a little bit more time. Look, I know you've been here for a long time, and I hate to do this to you, but I have to serve you with this notice. No, Alex, are you serious? But you know me. I know. And I'm really fighting for you. But they've got another tenant who's ready to move in. No. Who? Oh, is it another bakery shop? I can't say. But what I can tell you is that they're willing to pay more. So I can't give you any more extensions. Three days, that's it. Thank you. Huh. Oh, don't tell me. It's you two trying to take over my place. What are you talking about? Please, don't play innocent with me. I just found out that someone's trying to take over my place, and now it makes sense. We honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. So you're just here to rub your success in my face? No, not at all. We actually came to work with you. Work with me? I. I don't understand. As you probably know, we've been expanding pretty quickly. Jenny Suites has 25 different locations now. And what we've come to realize is that if we want to grow as fast as we want to grow, then we need to start partnering with other bakeries to keep up with the supply chain demand. So we're wondering if you're interested in helping make cupcakes for us. Oh, I see. So in other words, you want me to work for you? Uh, no. <sighs> to partner with us. We would agree to purchase a large volume from you in exchange for a small discount, of course. But the margin is great. It's a really great margin. And the best part is that we'll pay you up front. What do you say? Really? Why would you do this for me? I was so mean to you. Because you helped me? If it wasn't for you, I would have never quit my job. And I would have never started my business. I learned so much from you. Seriously, thank you. Come on, just say yes. Thank you guys so much. You have no idea how much I needed this right now. You're welcome. And I really am happy for you both. I guess you can start a business at any age after all. <laughs> <laughs> and I take it you're the manager of Jenny Sweets? Nope. <laughs> I am a partner. Jenny just gave me ownership. <laughs> it's the least that I could do. <gasps> Partner, <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. 
Well, you deserve it, Lauren. I'm really very sorry I never gave you that promotion because you deserved that too. That acknowledgement means more than anything else. Is that? It's my new recipe. <laughs> if you'd like it, I'll teach it to you. It's my number one seller. Oh. is really incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Partner. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> so, I want you to meet Carson. I just hired him. It's nice to meet you. Um, Gordon, uh, do you mind if I uh, speak to you for a second? Sure. Why is he talking through that thing? Oh, he's nonverbal autistic, but don't worry, he's really smart. Shoot. I gotta get this. Uh, wait. Are you sure about this? I mean, business has really been slow, and having someone here with a disability could make things worse. Oh, don't think of autism as a disability. Think of it as a different ability. That's all. Sorry, I gotta run up. Um, hey, you, uh, we... Uh... What should I work on? Hey, boss, the fryer's not working. Can you come take a look at it? Uh, yeah, sure. Look, just stay out of the way, okay? Come on, work! Okay, so what are we gonna do? We got customers coming in an hour. We need this fryer up and running. Well, I don't know what to do. Look, let me just try to get some help in here. Hey, get away from there before you break it even more! I can fix that. <laughs> well, if we can't fix it, I highly doubt that you can fix it. <laughs> Who is this? And why does he need that device to talk? Oh, he's... nobody. He won't be working here long. Look, I'm gonna go make some calls and see if I can get this thing fixed. Just don't let him touch anything. There. It's a lot of fun. You wanna give it a try? Yes. Ah, okay. Come here and I will show you how to make a flower. All right, so you just go like this. Now, you try. Wow, you are a natural. So, have you always wanted to work in a restaurant? My dream is to become a manager. Mm. Well, I'm sure you will be in no time. What are you doing? Oh, well, I am just showing Carson here how to put on icing. Are you trying to ruin our cakes? Give me that. Look what you did. Now this cake is ruined because of you. I'm sorry. It wasn't his fault. Don't you give him another cake. He's just gonna ruin it. How about we give it another try? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hey, uh, we have a group of friends and we're trying to decide where to eat. Can we look at the menu? Of course. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, seriously, what's your name? Carson. You know what, Carson? 
We don't even need to look at the menu. We'd love to eat here. We'll go get our friends. <laughs> Why are these customers leaving? Did you talk to them on that thing? Yes. Oh, great. No wonder they didn't want to stick around. You know, I told Gordon it was a bad idea hiring you. They said they are getting their friends. They was just being polite. But of course, you can't pick up on that, or anything else for that matter. That's not true. You see, growing up, kids never wanted to play with me. If they only gave me a chance, they'd see that I had a lot to offer. It hurt a lot when they'd exclude me. But if they just took a second, they'd see how capable I was. But what hurts the most was when people would hide me like I was some embarrassment. If they only knew, I'm actually really great with people. So you see, I don't think of it as a disability. I think of it as a different ability. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, I'm all about supporting people on the spectrum. But we all know that autism is a disability. Is everything okay? No. I told you it wasn't a good idea leaving someone like him here. He's almost destroyed our fryer, he's ruined a brand new cake, and he just scared off two customers. We need to let him go immediately. What? Is this true? Hey, good news. The fryer's working. Oh, great. That company I called, come fix it? No, Carson did it. What are you talking about? There's no way he could have fixed it. No, he did. It took him, like, what, five minutes? It's pretty impressive, actually. I've never known anybody as smart as he is. Well, I, uh, I, I don't understand. Uh, hey, tell Gordon how Carson ruined that cake. Ruined the cake? Uh, are you kidding? Take a look at this. Wow, that's beautiful. Carson did it. Not only did he bake the cake, he also did the decor. Honestly, I've never seen anyone learn as quickly as him. He's so creative. Sounds like Carson's doing quite well. No, 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 I'm telling you. Okay, let's ask these cussers. Now, Carson scared them off. Watch. Hey, hey, hey. did you mind telling my boss what happened earlier, how Carson here scared you off? Quit scared us off. What are you talking about? Well, that, that is why you left, isn't it? Oh, no. no, we left to get our friends because of him. Your, your friends? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're coming. Oh, they beat us, Felix. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, oh, yeah. And this is the guy I was telling you all about. Oh, yeah, oh, Carson. Yeah, Carson. Yeah. Hey, Carson. Hey, Carson. It's nice to meet you. Oh, oh, oh wow. Nice. wow. Oh, nice. 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 I haven't seen the restaurant this busy in months. Looks like Carson's got a special gift. Wow. He'd make a great manager. That's not a bad idea. Wait, what? Him the manager? But he's got a disability. I told you, autism is not a disability. Think of it as a different ability. You'll be reporting to Carson right away. This is ridiculous. I can't believe this. You know what? We can decorate that last batch of cupcakes when we get back. Hey, I just got another call about that kid's birthday party. You got it, boss. You see? This is exactly what's wrong with the world. What's wrong? What's wrong? What are you blind? Can't you see? It's disgusting. Two women should not be getting married. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Excuse me. Oh, can I help you? Yeah, I have a business here in this center, and I couldn't help but notice what's going on in here. 
I know. Aren't they the most stunning couple you've ever seen? Well, stunning is not exactly the word I had in mind. Uh, Trey, shouldn't we? Nobody wants to see a gay couple picking up clothes for a wedding. Excuse me? Well, look at you. How ridiculous. Aren't you embarrassed? You should be ashamed of yourself. Women don't wear tuxedos. Wow. And I don't need you bringing your little pride parade into my neighborhood, scaring away my customers. You know, it's really none of our business. They're just trying to shop like everyone else. They are not like everyone else. OK, that's enough. I need to ask you to leave. You want me to leave? You're the one that's supporting people like them. I'm serious. Out. You know it's wrong. I'll call security. Yeah. Come on, Kristen. I'm really sorry about my boss. I think you guys look great. I'm terribly sorry. April, hi. I'm all ready for you here. Yeah, have a good one. Bye. Hey, Sam. So great seeing you. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Are you Kyla Velvet? I am such a huge fan. <laughs> well, aren't you a dear? <laughs> What's your name, little lady? Kristen. Oh, is there anything I can help you with? Sure is. I'm having a huge party after my next show and was looking for a place to cater the dessert. Well, you came to the right place. <laughs> oh, these cupcakes look amazing. I bet the owner spent a lot of time on these. No, actually, I made those ones myself. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. You're so talented. Thank you. You should open your own shop. Oh, that is... Man, I just, my boss has been in business forever, and I just don't think it's that easy, you know? Of course it is. My mother always told me, if you stand up for what you believe in, you'll always win in the end. That advice has always helped me. Besides, I'd buy from you. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Unfortunately, I need this job to pay my rent, so... Anyway, do you want to try a sample? Oh, I'd love to. How about... Hmm. Hey, Chris, did the delivery guy show up? Oh, yeah, it's in the back. Oh, great. Okay, what's going on here? I'm trying to place an order. Is there a problem? Yeah, there's a problem. You're the problem. Now go take your business somewhere else, because we don't serve your kind of people in here. Trey, do you have any idea who sh I got it, honey. my people. Just because I'm different doesn't mean I'm not equal. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Look at you. You're a freak. Well, Kristen here doesn't seem to think so. You support a circus clown like him? Her? It's her. A and, and yes, I do. Never I mind. I don't have time for this. Just do me a favor and get out of my store. This? is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Now leave. Kyla. Kyla, wait. I, I think... How could you treat her like that? You listen to me. From now on, I don't want you to even think about serving people like that. Do you understand me? We clear? Hello, sir. Welcome to my shop. These were just freshly baked. Real nice individual cakes. I knew you'd like them. I could try Hey. Hi. I'm here to pick up an order for a bridal shower. It should be under Alex. Okay, one second. Ooh. I'll be out for you. Thank you. Do you see those Republic cupcakes? I did. <laughs> so good. I'm sure you're excited. Yes. Wait a minute. I know you two from somewhere. I got it. You were the couple in the wedding store. And you're the man that interrupted our fitting. Yep. And what are you doing in my bakery? All right, Alex. Uh, 25 specialty cupcakes. Hello, Thank whoa, you. stop. Put that down. Wow. What do you mean? This is their... We don't serve people like them in here. You've got to be kidding me. Do I look like I'm kidding? 
We don't support this. It's wrong. Okay, I don't see how our love life is any of your business. Besides, we already paid for the order. Well, isn't that too bad? Trey, if they already paid for it, you kind of have to give it to them. You stay out of this, Kristen. I'm just saying it's not the 1950s anymore. Right. We need these today. Otherwise, trust me, we would have no problem taking our business elsewhere. Yeah, the last thing we want to do is be buying from you. What? Okay. You want your cupcakes? There's your cupcakes. Now go get them. Hey, man, what is your problem? I don't have a problem. It's you two that need help. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Come on, babe. Forget this guy. I'd rather have no desserts than bear one more minute with you. How many times have I told you we don't serve people like that in here? It is not okay how you treated them. What's wrong with them buying some cupcakes? They're for a bridal shower for a gay wedding. Whose side are you on, Kristen? Theirs. You really want to do this? There is nothing wrong with being gay, lesbian, trans, or any other part of the LGBTQIA plus community. I can't believe you would support that kind of behavior. I don't just support it. I'm part of the community. You take that off. Take it off right now, I swear to God. If you don't take that off right now, you're fired. You know what? You can't fire me because I quit. My only regret is not doing this a long time ago. You know what? I'm gonna open my own bakery and be way more successful than you. <laughs> don't make me laugh. I've been here 20 years. I'd like to see you try. Okay. Kristen quits her job, nervous but also excited to start her baking business. Within a couple days, she comes up with the business name and starts marketing on Facebook to let all her friends know. To save money, she uses her own kitchen to run her business. At first, Everything seems to be going great. Her family and friends place orders to support her. But over time, that excitement dies down. She finds herself going weeks without a single order. Before long, bills start piling up. Kristen starts to stress and comes to realize her business may not work out. Eventually, she gives up on her dream and starts to look for a job. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. Can, can I help you? Yeah, I was just wondering if there's any chance you're hiring. Unfortunately, we're not. That's okay. I'm sorry. Thanks for your time. No worries. Look who it is. Let me guess. Looking for a new job, right? What do you want, Trey? Nothing. I just wanted to see how that new business idea of yours worked out, but I guess that resume tells me everything I need to know, little miss. I want to be a successful baker. <laughs> do you feel better about yourself? I don't want to lie. A little. I had no idea that you would fail. What a shock. I'd even offer you a job, but hey. I would rather go homeless than ever work for you again. Oh, you really know how to hurt my feelings. Well, let me tell you something. You go homeless, don't worry, because I will find you, and I'll bring you a cupcake so you don't starve to death. Good luck job hunting. <laughs> Hi, darling. Aren't you that girl from the bakery? Hi, hi. Yeah, I don't work there anymore, though. Oh, thank goodness. That man was a monster. Yeah. I am so sorry again for how he treated you. I, I feel terrible for not standing up for you more. I definitely should have, especially <laughs> since we're from the same community. Don't apologize. You did the best you could. Please tell me, you started your own business like we talked about? I did, but it already failed. So, looking for work if you know anyone who's hiring. It hasn't even been that long. 
how'd you market your business? I posted on Facebook and Instagram. I told my friends and family. That's pretty much it. Did you do any target marketing? Focus on any specific niche? What do you mean? <laughs> well, our community loves to support LGBTQ plus owners, especially since, as you've seen, some businesses aren't always the most friendly to our people. Why don't you focus on serving our community? I didn't think about that. But I don't know. I really can't afford to fail again, though. I'm almost out of cash as it is. Do you really think I can succeed? I don't think so. OK. <laughs> I know so. <laughs> <laughs> you really? <laughs> because as I told you, when you stand up for what you believe in, you always win in the end. You're right. I should have been focused on serving our community from the first place. <laughs> Maybe I will give it another shot. Great. Because, you know, I'm looking for someone to cater my party next week, and the timing works out perfectly, so what's your business called? It was Kristen's Crafts. Ooh. Who? How about Kristen's inclusive crafts? Now that has a nice ring to it. It really does. <laughs> well, I'd love to be your first customer. Take my number down so I can place my order. I'll even help you promote your business to all my followers. I've seen your work. I know how good it is. Seriously, that would be amazing. Oh my god, your lifesaver. Uh, what, what's your number? All right. Kristen's once again excited to go after her dream and this time decides to focus on a niche. She's amazed as to how much support she starts to receive. It doesn't take her long to get more referrals from her own community and her brand quickly starts to grow. As more people hear about Kristen's inclusive crafts, she starts to get orders all over town. Each person she meets ends up referring her to even more people. As Kristen's business starts to go uphill, the baker's business starts to go downhill. He gets flooded with negative reviews from the LGBTQ plus community and many people refuse to buy from him. And then a few months later, Kristen becomes so successful that she decides to open up her own bakery. And this place has an amazing commercial kitchen. <laughs> so it didn't quite much work for you to get you up and running. Yeah, I'm actually pretty familiar with this spot. I'm ready to place a deposit. Really? Yeah. Wow, uh, that was fast. Uh, let me go and get the lease agreement and we'll get you going. What are you doing here? Hi, Trey. I suppose you came to beg for your old job back. <laughs> Hardly. I'm actually showing you this place for rent. Really? Well, this place is not for lease. Come on, Trey. We've been through this. If you can't pay, you can't keep the spot. We've given you more than enough chances. It's not my fault business is down. The whole economy's down. It's not just me. I don't know about that. Christian runs her own bakery, and her business seems to be booming. In fact, she decided to put a pause down in this space. You? I thought you shut down. Wait a minute. Are you the one responsible for all those bad reviews I got and now no one will come in my store? Trey, as much as you deserve those bad reviews, I wasn't the one behind them. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? We may have had something to do with that. Yeah, sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> Maybe if you learned to treat people a little better, you wouldn't be going through this right now. I mean, you should know, our community is very outspoken. And as I've learned, we like to stick together. Yeah. Oh. You all make me sick. All oh. right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, thank you for having my back. Always. <laughs> I love how much you all support each other. So are they the reason for your success? Pretty much, because as someone once told me, if you stand up for what you believe in, you always win in the end. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'll get the lease to you right away. Thanks. Yes. But I may add one extra condition in there. What's that? I could try some of your delicious cupcakes <laughs> I'm reading about online. <laughs> your reviews are amazing. I think I can make that happen. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Let's make All it happen. Right. <laughs>